So Matt, you just got back or what? You're, you're just playing yeah. again? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I just started up uh, since COVID. So as soon as I went remote for work, yeah. kind of just winging it after work, I just kind of hop on in the evenings and fell in love with farming. Honestly, it's basically, did it. you say, did you say after work? <laughs> after you, work? Yeah. Are you Northeast? <laughs> I'm northeast. Oh, I fucking from, I'm knew from New it. York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New York. Yeah. yeah. That's where I'm from. Cool. Dude. Yeah. So okay, I know back in the day you were you were big into PKing, right? I was. Have I you was a big, relearned big PKer? Oh my god. No, not yet. I've been watching a lot of streams though, like um a lot of pure spam and Odoblock. Trying to learn how to PK again. I've been watching like some LMS streams and videos and I stepped my feet into LMS and got rocked instantly. Yeah, I think I finished I like 20, 22nd uh, out of 25. So, uh, dude, the I'm game like, has changed. I am I am so used to being a prod, a PKing prod. Like I don't know if you know what a prod is, but it man, basically I remember the was, term. <laughs> so like a prod, a prod was basically when you you only used one weapon to go PKing. So like. I would only use an AGS or a Chaotic Mall in the pre-EOC days, and then I would switch to like a, what was called a Karasi Sword, and it was Hell like yeah. such a prod switch Dude. and like instant KOs. Like I would hit like a six hundred, it was like not a sixty, it was a six hundred, to a like a four hundred, and like everybody would die instantly, get free loot, you know. Dude, when I learned to PK, yeah. uh, me and two of my buddies went out into the wild, and we had range peers, which were unheard of. People didn't know that you could build pures and you would yeah. have a low combat level. And so we yeah. went out in the, we would just fucking stand in a dot with all three of us somewhere in the <laughs> wild. And people <laughs> used to just wander around yep, the yep. wild That's on it. their, That's on it. their mains with all their shit and we would kill them. Yeah. And, uh, it worked. We didn't do anything creative. We just shot them with bows and they died. And yep. hardly ever retaliated to even a blow. They didn't teleport out. There was nothing. No, because it was a it was a whole whole new thing. Like the wilderness. <laughs> like when I when I was like I started playing in two thousand and four, mm-hmm. and my my next door neighbor's like, oh, you got to play this game on miniclip dot com. It's called RuneScape. And I'm like, oh, okay. I wonder what it's all about. And he's like, you got to come with me to the wilderness. There's something called a Rune Med. And it spawns, and I, I didn't know there was no such thing as a rune med spawn. At least I didn't know of one. But um, he's like, it spawns next to the greater demon. So like, he would take me to the wilderness, and then I would die instantly. He would just kill me instantly. <laughs> he literally just lured me. My first experience in the wilderness was a lure. I didn't oh know. I was God. like, I just died. Like, I don't really want to play this game anymore. He's like, no, no, no. You got to keep playing. So then, you know, wow. here we are, sixteen years later, right? Yeah, and I remember else is still playing the I, game. I created a a PKing clan when I was a little kid, like back when people used to post, uh, all their like cool graphics made of like slashes and, and plus signs and shit on the, on the runescape forums to recruit people. Uh, and I just like copied someone else's and just pasted it. And then I was, I like got like a crew of like seven or eight people to go PKing on a PKing trip. And, uh, we all died like instantly. I think I didn't even bring armor. I just took a dragon longsword. And that was oh, like, boy. and then I disbanded the clan in like a day. It didn't work nice. out too well. Pop, yeah, that was pop up clan right there. That's all that was. Pop up nice clan, pop-up dude. Clan, yeah. We, yeah, we made a statement yeah. and then we were out. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we, I'm curious, and I'm sure the audience will be curious as well. I've been told by Jimmy that you're the reason that old school RuneScape exists. What does that mean? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> how did we get here where did where do we where do we begin does this go like it go it goes back probably to 2012 late 2012 um jagex was hard pressed to uh bring out this update called the evolution of combat mm-hmm. and it was a uh very polarizing update and at the time, there was a beta that they basically let people play, and you know you could you know, do like these little straw polls and what your your experience was like. And like back when they first created the EOC, it was like 
uh, you could get like 25 kills in PvP and like one mm-hmm. inventory of food. And it was just like totally broken, and it was it was a lot of fun, but it was totally imbalanced. And uh, you know, um, basically, uh, the community kind of said that they didn't like it, <laughs> and it was pretty polarizing. The company was kind of doing some shady things behind the scenes and uh, paying some YouTubers, including myself, to promote the EOC. It was really kind of a a touchy situation uh, to kind of prop it up. And uh, then they released it and things got really ugly, I guess. Like the community didn't really like it and uh, it didn't didn't go too well. And uh, so... I started sending emails to Jagex since I already had a working relationship with them. And uh, I think Soup had started a petition on change.org that didn't get much traction. It had like maybe a few signatures and uh, I think Soup had maybe two or 3,000 subscribers at the time. My channel was sitting at about 25, 30K and um, I had a working relationship with Jagex. So I was going back and forth. I was saying, look, the community does not like the EOC. You're making a huge mistake. It's not going well. And uh, they were just totally ignoring me, essentially. Uh, Never got a response. I was talking to a few community managers and just didn't get any traction. So then Mark Gerhard, who was the CEO of Jagex, uh, created a post back in January of 2013 and he basically said, hey, we, we kind of messed up. We really fucked up the game and uh, we went a little too quickly, but we want to hear your feedback. And we admit that we made a mistake. Uh, and I basically kind of jumped on that uh, uh, post on the homepage and decided to start my own petition on change.org and produced like a, a video uh, And then it kind of blew up, went viral. Uh, We had gotten about 45,000 signatures on the change.org petition. Um, What was the name of the video? It was called, uh, gosh, I forgot the name of it already. But basically, Mark Gerhard admitted the evolution of combat was a mistake, uh, question mark. And, uh, (laughs) And I basically took his words and like basically created this, this, production video and uh took his blog posts and put my own spin on it basically said like the community wants the old combat system they want turnstile pvp they want to go to the wilderness they want to get kills they want clans they want multi pking they want epicness they want to kind of be they they want that nostalgic feel and what you did is you basically took it away by adding an action bar and uh, expecting people to kind of play RuneScape with an action bar like World of Warcraft. And so then what happened from there was Twitter blew up and people started spamming Jagex, the video and the petition. And then they really had no choice but to respond. So I got an email from from Mark Gerhard. uh, he finally responded to my email. I, I sent this really scathing email. Like I roasted them in the email. Uh, I can send you send you it, but basically it's like a kind of like a little manifesto, like about how the game really is going to suffer, and they made a really bad mistake. And here's the petition, and here's fifty, you know, forty five thousand signatures, and uh, all these YouTubers at the time are supporting it, and we had the momentum. So then Mark Gerhard kind of, he responded. We got into a Skype call. We talked for three hours and we talked like a lot about like options. And at the time he didn't admit to me that they had old school. He was like, oh, well, 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 maybe the community will like this thing called Darkscape. Uh, We've been working on that behind the scenes. Uh, It's going to be a PVP only uh, form of RuneScape and... It's going to be mysterious, uh, mysterious, and uh, I can't believe I just said that, but mysterious. And uh, it, they kind of just, um, I was just like, no, they're going to want, they're going to want the old combat system back. We, we need pre-EOC back in RuneScape. We need the old version of the game. And uh, essentially, after two Skype calls, he finally came back and he said, oh, I, I found a, 
uh, an old um, uh, backup on our tape system. Uh, it's the old school version of 2007 from August. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, do you think the community would like the old school version of 2007? <laughs> and I was like, uh, probably. I, I'm sure they'll like that. Is that all you got? I mean, do you have do you have what you had like six months ago? Like, did you throw <laughs> out all the old tapes? Like, what, what happened here? And yeah, uh, you know, basically, uh, long story short, they they said, no, this is all we got. I, I didn't really believe them, but they, we only got the August 2007 uh, version. And uh, mm. he had committed to me saying. We're going to put it to a poll on the homepage, and if we get enough votes, we'll we'll bring it back. And if we don't get enough votes, we're not going to bring it back. So then that kind of spiraled into a an even bigger viral campaign where we got some big YouTubers from outside of the uh, RuneScape community to promote it. Uh, there was a big YouTuber called The Fiend back in the day. Okay. He's a big Wow, uh, wow uh, YouTuber. He helped promote it, and uh, basically all the RuneScape YouTubers got behind it even more. And uh, we had the momentum, and eventually, we got enough votes, and they brought the game back. And uh, here God, we are today. God, that's so weird. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Um, yeah. The reaction. Yeah. That's so yeah. weird. I, 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 I mean, it just doesn't like. I, it sounds like a fable, right? It sounds like yeah, a, a made-up story, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> but, because normally developers just make a game, right? And then they sell the game. And mm -hmm. then they go make another game. Right. And so, but, uh, and then like, but in the MMO world, you have subs subscription based, uh, like revenue where they have to upkeep their product or people just go, eh, I'll go to play some other thing. And yeah. so, I mean, they could just keep milking it for years if people are playing it, if you're, if they're doing it right. And, and then, that's annoying. Like the whole attitude that Jagex has adopted towards polling the community for anything and then actually going on record being like, yeah, 70% if it doesn't pass, right? it's not happening. That is so weird. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is. So we take it for granted as RuneScape players in 2020, but that's just absolutely bizarre. Right. Because you might think as a developer, well, I don't really care. I'm going to make my game or like, because it's not always true that the people that you're selling to or creating a product for whatever the case may be, have any idea what they want. Right. Right. Cause that's, exa that's exactly right. I, I mean, I remember I get, I get feedback, for example, all the time about what my content should be like from viewers that I'm happy that they're engaging with my content and that they're opinionated about it. But if you think for a second, I'm going <laughs> to change my content to be like, ah, he, he knows better, whatever. <laughs> right. No, right. no. you, you got to stay true to yourself. That's, but, that's it. Yeah. But the, and the weirdest part of all is that it actually worked and now everybody plays old school. Right. It was like the biggest, like backward MMO story. Yeah. And happened like, the, like, Basically, Jagex made a one-hit wonder with RuneScape. It wasn't even Jagex, really. It was. <laughs> it wasn't. Like no, it was the, the Gower brothers. The Gower brothers. Yeah. People have been stand. That company is built on their shoulders. Pretty much. And I'm yeah. not I, like not not belittling the the work that people do every single day at Jagex, but like, that's just kind of how this stuff works. Twitch is a platform. I don't know the CEO. I don't know any of the people that work there. I see very little changes to their, to anything that they do. Whoever made Justin TV built yeah. Twitch and right. did the lot. The idea was literally everything. Yeah. Yeah. And Justin TV had the right model. There was a owned dot TV before Justin. Oh TV. my God. Dude. Oh, and, yeah. and dude now now, now own dot TV. I don't know if it's the same own dot TV, but they're selling like overlays. Like they've gotten into the overlay oh my market God, for dude. streaming, but Basically, yeah, I mean, if the model works on your platform and if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, I guess. That's what it comes down to. But uh, they 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 were trying to be like somebody else. They were trying to be like uh, all the other MMOs that have action bars and macros and 
uh, they didn't really see the potential in PvP and esports and uh, like the longevity of of content. I think what they were missing was they needed to take the aspects of other MMOs, not changing the underlying system, and uh, incorporate them. And it finally happened with uh, with raids and um, you right, know, like like uh, the corrupted gauntlet, like things like that. Both Those solo and, and raiding content. Uh- that's all. That's not new to MMOs, but it's new to RuneScape. And it, who would have thought that raiding would ever come to RuneScape? But um, right, and it works yeah. in like a really compelling, like within their system. They didn't have to make it not feel like RuneScape. The, okay, so I'm actually like super prepared for this because I actually pr- played RuneScape three today and yesterday. Okay. Besides the hour that you and I jumped in for a little while, Jimmy, and it just didn't work. Um, oh, for the RuneScape first time, three. Yes. Yeah. For the first time in my life, I I played it yesterday and today. And it's the most surreal game to wander through. Different areas look like... I went to Fossil Island. It was (laughs) built and structured like an MMO. It had like this kind of uh, soft color palette that kind of looked cartoony and and then had some huge fucking ancient ruins that you're building a town at like it was so uh well thought out well designed it felt like a piece of content in a modern day mmo but then i go back to karamja and it looks like dog shit (laughs) it looks like utter garbage you go to port sarum and you hop on this glorious looking boat with these new models and you you show up in karamja and it's this dump ass boat that looks worse than it did in old school. And I, I, I was like, what? it makes no sense. It's so bizarre. It would be like playing Mario 64 and you go through one of those portals and you're in fucking like Mario Odyssey. You'd be like, <laughs> what the hell? Because they've just been releasing content for 20 years yeah. in the same game. Yeah. It's yeah. so weird. And God, I I could feel the the betrayal as I walked around Lumbridge, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. looking at the shell of what I was like, because I actually really liked a lot of the stuff that I was doing in RuneScape through over the past two days that had nothing to do with RuneScape. But then everything that was like in that weird limbo of kind of in between whatever RuneScape 3 is now and whatever old school RuneScape was and is, it just didn't work. It didn't work. It felt like a bad port of a yeah. game into yeah. some other system. The graphics weren't, they didn't feel inspired. They felt like you were just building sh- shit on top of this other shit. It was just so weird. Right. Dude, uh, I want to I, I wanna backtrack for a second because I was thinking about it with the whole polling thing. Yeah. Uh, it's, it okay, that's been a thing. It needs to be at 75% or it doesn't pass. That's been like a thing since the start of it, right? Yeah. That oh, yeah. started in ma- that started with like the most major questions ever. Like, yeah. should we Dude. put new quests inside this game? Like, that's a wait. huge fucking thing to ask. Well, wait, how, how far back does polling go? It goes all the way back to the God Wars dungeon. Like, so, like basically, like all the way back. So when... When we first released it, like when when Jagex first released it and the community brought it back, like they wanted God Wars, but the community was split on that. It was like fifty. Oh, so they 60, they never 40. pulled yeah. anything in the old system until the re-release of 07. That's right. Yeah. So basically, okay. from 2013 onward, everything with old school RuneScape was pulled because <laughs> That's they, so they, re- weird. they realized that they like they don't want to piss off the community they don't want to me- yeah. like, mess up again like they almost lost their company like they lost 70 percent of their player base when they released the eoc when they changed everything with the combat system it like it tanked their company like they had to lay off a lot of people like they were on reserves there it was bad but yeah um, but it you know they when they started polling and the uh you know community got behind the content like the community is build helping build the game now there's like probably the developers have some discretion they're like oh i think the community would like this i think we're going to come up with this piece of content 
and we're going to release it to a poll and we'll see how it goes. And, uh, you know, there's probably some steering and I think the old school Q and a polls kind of help steer the community a little bit and the streams. Um, but ultimately the community decides, you know, like they, they drive the game. Yeah. That's, that's just so bizarre. I mean, it works in its own weird way, but yeah. that's the thing though, is it kind of does it because here's the, okay, here's the fair. thing, because yeah. the, <laughs> the things that they pull <laughs> are still kind of fucking retarded. Yeah, uh, <laughs> some, weird, some weird polls. Yeah. yeah uh, Should we make this uh hat blue or white? Dude. Uh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> no, be, I'm, I'm going to think about this. Uh, Okay, Matt, did you see any of the whole uh, Bounty Hunter rework nonsense that was going down? So Do you I, know anything? I, a little bit. I just re-watched, uh, I, I just watched, uh, read the um, the new update on the homepage, but uh, I didn't get a chance to like, really dive into it. I heard that they did something with the PJ timer, and they're trying to curb the botting situation in the Bounty Hunter worlds, and they did this Ferox Enclave or something. I, I don't really The Enclave know. is sick. Okay, okay. Well done, so development. Is that team. like the? Is that like? I don't know if you're familiar with the Crucible back in uh, the old days. I think that was one of the. I. I. The hell uh, is that thing? Why is it? It sounds familiar. What is the Crucible? It was like an, a small, like, kind of an instanced PvP situation. Is it okay. like that? It's or ringing like a bell. The, the Enclave is a sit like a this worn down city in the wilderness okay. that's oh, a safe okay. zone, um, and kind of serves as a hub for a couple of the mini games now that like. The duel or the, or the PvP clan wars area used to do. Okay. Um, anyway, and, yeah. let me. I I gotta I gotta yeah, rant Jim, about this. Yeah, go yeah, ahead, dude. Jim, go ahead. Okay. The bounty hunter thing. When we're talking about polling, the whole bounty hunter thing. They. Here's the thing: is the seventy five percent. That's the that's the <laughs> key word here. Is seventy five percent. They've used that seventy five percent since the polling started, yeah. and that was for yeah. major decisions. But now. Anytime things are somewhat logical and make sense, it hits like 73, 74%. And Jagex is like, well, it's not 75. So I guess we can't do it. Less than 75. No, you can't do it. 65. 65 is a is a majority. It's a pretty good number. That's a pretty decent number. 51% is a majority, but that's a little that's a little that's a little polarized, but 65% is it, you know. That's that's more than half. Yeah, that, more than this half, half wins. It's passing. It's passing, right? In school, you get a sixty-five. I mean, that's that, like cherry, right? Exactly, dude. You're good man. That's a D plus, probably. You pass. Yeah. But look, yeah. bounty hunter. The things they couldn't do anything with bounty hunter because there's uh, there is a community. There's a there's a community for PvP who wants PvP to thrive. Uh, obviously, we've got you know uh, Kevin. We've talked to him about this a billion times. He he lives his life off of PKing. That's how he has an income. Uh, and the the things that I have seen and and Aaron's seen it too in the in the Jagex um, Discord we're in, there there was a document uh, over the course of months and just working on this document, solution after solution after solution of how to fix Bounty Hunter, how to integrate PvP properly into this game. Fuck all happened with that dude. <laughs> Hours and uh, months. They didn't use any of it. They tr they they tried. Some of it got pulled. Some of it got thrown in the trash. Uh, mm -hmm. th essentially, what was happening is is the botting, the botting and the farming with the with the bounty hunter system was so overran yeah. and it was so out of hand. And they didn't make it against the rules to do this whole emblem farming thing where people were making a ridiculous amount of money. And they were doing nothing yeah. about it. And I think yeah. that they, I think, I don't know, but the only way it seems logical to me that they didn't make uh, bounty point boosting against the rules is because they couldn't tech, uh, enforce it. I, I, I can't think of any reason, semi-logically, why you would say, eh, we're fine with this. It absolutely ruins the content we just created and adds a, so much shit back into the game that we weren't prepared for Dude. but we're not going to touch it uh, the only reason i could even fathom that they haven't made it against the rules is because they wouldn't be able to reinforce it so they're like well right. we should you know what are we yeah. going to say mod weath go get them tiger the problem with botting in general is that 
it's literally going to become extremely human like over right. time like the well, ai just getting... and the machine learning and the the autonomous learning with botting is just going to become insane and unless unless jagex creates an entire system where they're literally combating bots with bots it's like literally like skynet level shit well, yeah not, i feel like it's going to get overrun eventually right well know? here's the thing with pvp content this was the solution i proposed do not make uh pvp rewards tradable yeah you yeah. can't bot it right that's, entire that's economy fair. collapses that's, that's, pre that's pretty fair i would say I, and i'm not a huge fan of just making a whole bunch of shit in runescape non-tradable like i understand that a large portion of the game is not iron man it's the whole player interaction and economy but i for the life of me i couldn't understand why they didn't just say bounty hunter rewards lms rewards untradable yeah yeah botting yeah. done Dude, in the second rework of it, they had all the same items in the store. They had all the alcables, like all like rune plate, <laughs> uh, you know, what is dragon yeah. scimitar in there, whatever. Dude, why? No. Why did, are those rewards for anybody, dude? Nah, they gotta come <laughs> up with the, the they gotta come up with an incentive strategy that's gonna promote the the content, promote the engagement with the content, but not promote botting, like. I mean, well, if like if you made some lucrative rewards, like I don't know, you could trade in for like a a skull pet or something, that would be an incentive for bots to be like, hey, I'm gonna go and farm to get this pet. But if it's like if you go for something that's untradeable, I don't know what it would be. I feel like as long as there's like an incentive around it that's more for in game versus monetary, then the gold yeah. farmers can't do anything really about Dude, it. Dude, if I if I could get a if there was a one in a thousand chance on a on a bounty hunter kill to get a, f a fucking bounty hunter pet, holy shit! You could bet your ass I'd be out there. Do you know how much swag that would be walking around with <laughs> one of those? That, that would, would be, be so badass. cool. Well, that's oh, another yeah. thing is, uh, since the whole community is, is is entirely against microtransactions, you look at any other huge MMO or you know online FPS anything. The aesthetics yeah. are what people are paying real money for. Why wouldn't we want to do in-game shit to go get aesthetics? Like, if we don't want to pay money for them, people yeah. pay, dude, people pay thousands and thousands of dollars for uh, Star Citizen ships or like CSGO oh, yeah. skins oh, or, yeah. you know, dropping stacks well, on Fortnite dances, why do you, dude. Why do you think that the Duel Arena is still kind of out there right now, right? I mean, if you think about people it, people are selling their fucking gold and making sell, thousands of dollars. Right. But then also <laughs> think about the people that are getting in debt and think about the people that they want the fast cash, but they don't want to do it illegally. So they're like, I'm not going to go buy gold off of a gold farming site. I'm just going to buy bonds. And I'm just going to max out my credit card or get my use my credit card rewards and max out bonds. And then they're going to go stake the bond GP and then spin that up to billions. And then, you know probably sell it or something i don't know do whatever but i think it's like uh it's kind of a vicious cycle but in that process jagex is making bank off those bonds oh yeah so uh, yeah yeah i actually know very little about the whole dual arena world it doesn't i'm not a i, I don't have the gambling bug i actually hate it yeah, i can't don't, be, don't get that bug it's bad i could tell right, well i mean <laughs> i i don't in, i do not enjoy gambling because any good gambling system is so stacked against you it's like yeah. I play I play a bit of poker. I've won mm -hmm. I've won a couple of poker tournaments like in in Vegas, uh, smaller ones, nothing crazy. But poker's kind of got an element of gamble, but also an element of skill. Uh, okay, poker actually, is a I, mathematical formula behind it. But if you're trying to be like a professional black blackjack player, forget it. You're gonna go broke in like three seconds. So it, it's it's, a, it's the same thing with with um with the duel arena. Like you can go you can win fifteen stakes in a row. And turn, you know, fifty mil into two bill, three bill, but uh, you're gonna go 15, 15 dry eventually. That's just gonna happen. So, dude, while you were doing, uh, while you were being an activist and you know starting your petition and creating the, this game that saved an entire company, I was in, I was, uh, I didn't even pay attention to the evolution of combat because I was in a, I was in a corner of the Grand Exchange going. 
Hot and Cold Times 2. <laughs> Legit. Flower game. Remember the Dude, flower game? Oh, man. Fucking the flower games, man. I got that was, another, that, that was another big thing with the whole petition. Like, people hated the flower game. Like, there was so much fuck flowers going on. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. it was like, Wait, so how, it big, was, how ubiquitous was this? Because I don't know anything about the flower game. I've it was heard it was rampant. Tale. Like a, it was a it, fucking plague. It was a plague. Like <laughs> entire... is it like the is it like the dice bots now standing at the GE where there's like five per world? Oh, it was, it was way more worse. Like, it was more like fifty per world, but like, a clan you just see per flowers world. everywhere. Like people yeah. would just be like, like oh, it's gonna be like blue, yellow, blue. Oh, it's not blue, yellow, blue. Okay, you lose. Or I, I, it was like people would call colors and stuff, and you would use the mithril seeds, and you'd basically make the flowers with the mithril yeah, seeds. Yeah, so it's just gambling yeah. through that RNG system of the flowers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's so weird. And That's... there was a there was an actual dice I think there was an actual dice Yeah. Like utility. Dude. It was a game of chance. Oh, yeah. the util- <laughs> like, like a game of yeah. it was an item that you could literally use to gamble with. And like there was Are, entire was it... clan chats dedicated to it. Yeah. Dude, I, I talked about, about that, that in the uh in the evolution of construction video because people used to host it in their house. And oh, there yeah. was a, they removed the dice bags from the game and there was a statement put out saying like, the dice were never meant to host gambling. And so I made a joke in there and go, what the fuck do you think dice are? What, yeah. what dude, do you think dice dude, are used for? Dude, dice goes, I mean, I like in my school, like in like study hall, we were playing this game called CeeLo and like we were playing dice games, like forget it. Like it was, that was like a normal thing back in Like, so you bring that in, you bring dice to RuneScape. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, it's gambling. <laughs> it's wow. Gambling. What it, how, who would have guessed? Yeah. Yeah. But, no, that's also, I think, a kind of a unique thing about with MMOs, I, I can't think of other MMOs that actually have gambling in them. Right. There, like, I know, like, Blizzard really shunned upon gambling with World of Warcraft. People still, like, duel in that game, and, like, they'll put up a little bit of GP, but there's no, like, venue for it, so. Yeah, I, that's one thing uh, that RuneScape, I've never felt this way in any other game. Like, not even close. RuneScape, I really feel like I'm dealing with other people in the game it feels so human and oh yeah i don't know why that i mean i i don't i don't i don't really understand it runescape feels like it's a bunch of humans running around when oh, I, yeah. I i played wow classic when they relaunched i played uh guild wars a bunch back in the day um i played albion online and you it feels like you're in this weird mmo setting and like the interactions didn't feel like real interactions. RuneScape right. feels like real interactions. It's oh, so yeah. bizarre. Like yeah. the, everything from the economy to the the way that like the even the like really weird janky combat system. I just always feel like that this is another human being over here. Right. Which <laughs> and and usually games are so dehumanizing. RuneScape really just feels so like it kind of pulls the curtain back a bit and right. it's just people because people are being shitty and people are being funny and people are being kind and there's all these yeah. really weird human interactions in our game that, but that but that's humanity right so humanity yeah. is all about having interactions engagement you know you gotta it's all about relationships you know and i feel like you can develop friendships and bonds and uh you know, and, and Discord kind of like syncs up well with RuneScape as a game. Like Discord doesn't really sync up well with other games. So it's nice to kind of uh, in like 2020, like it's even more hyper focused on uh, relationships and friendships. And uh, it's good. Like, it, like, it's funny, like back in the day with PvP, I would feel bad when I took somebody's items. Like if I smited somebody for a whip or smited somebody for an AGS, it's like, Dude, that's like probably like that kid's whole bank. Like he was I sitting still there in welfare. Bad. It's like brutal. It, like now it's like, oh, like uh, yeah. I just smile. Like there's a, there's a lot of no honor PK now. Like it's like all like everything's out of the bag now. Like it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm, look, look, watch. I'm gonna show you how uh, I'm gonna attack this kid and watch his friend's gonna attack me. I'm gonna switch real quick and just smite him for his claws and like just like savage, total like bloodthirst like. But that's that's cool. Like that's that's PvP too, right? So the wilderness is Dude. all about just like it's the high risk, high reward, and that's that's the component there. But have cool. you gotten hit with a question mark after getting dropped yet? 
Yeah. Oh. That's the worst feeling oh. in the, that Dude, is worse than that, anything anyone could ever say to you. Come on though. The, the old, the old <laughs> classic sit though, man. Come on. Sit. The yeah. Whole sit. Pretty like, that's a sit, pretty good sit one. Sit didn't sit well with me when I was peak. Like the whole sit and the, que- the question mark is like, it kind of, it's like, it's questioning your legitimacy. Like, why are you even here? Like, yeah, dude, dude, you just got you just got rocked in like three seconds. Like, Gives you an yeah. existential crisis, man. It makes I will you feel say, so shitty. I will say, I I have no ego when I PK. Not because I'm a good person, but because I'm <laughs> because I'm so bad. It would I would have to be some kind of delirious, like crazy person to be surprised when I died. Like when someone kills me in the in Bounty Hunter, I'm like, well, that was the logical conclusion there. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, uh, so if they throw a question mark, I'm like, I feel that. I, I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> I understand. But I'll get. Yeah. I mean, I'll get to a point eventually, hopefully, where I'm good enough that if someone insults me, I'm like, hey, but I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even there yet. No, I'm just no, so I think, bad. I think. I think the more you get invested, the more like. The little things may start bothering you, but if you're not, if you're, if you take the right approach to PKing and you're just kind of like, oh, I'm casual, like I, I don't care really what happens, I'm just here to have fun, then it doesn't really bother you too much. But it, it, it like it becomes pretty intense. At least it did when I was when I was playing. So it was cool. I also, I just remember this. Uh, I think it must have been like six months ago when you had reached out. Uh, you had said something that you were thinking about like deleting your videos or something. Yeah. Did you, did you uh, delete yeah. them? So a few of them I had to delete cause like YouTube algorithm and the YouTube, like Skynet saying like you're, you're using copyrighted music and yeah, and, like all that stuff. So I had to delete some of them, but um, I don't know. Like I went, I, after the whole like working for jagex and then getting fired and getting exposed and all that and like the years following and seeing the channel just like die and like i i couldn't come back and like the Wait, you actually issue. worked for jagex so okay yeah so the the story didn't end at the the petition um basically after we brought the game back mark uh basically he's like i want to mark gerhard the ceo wanted to say he was like I wanted to, I want to compensate you for old school and I want to, um, hire you at, at Jagex. I want you to be on my team. So I was like, Oh, I don't know. Should I, should I join Jagex? Uh, I talked it over with my parents at the time. I was, I was only all of 20, uh, still living at home. And, uh, basically, uh, I said, yes, I said, I'm going to work, I'll work for Jagex. And, um, the day that they announced that I was working for Jagex on the homepage, uh, somebody leaked a, an audio clip uh, from a Skype call. I, I got like really hammered one night on a Skype call and uh, basically started trashing the Jagex employees for their, like they weren't really doing much with old school when they released it. So it was like, uh, they only had four developers. They weren't put mm-hmm. in, putting any more developers on the game. And they were kind of like, oh, we're going to see how it goes. And, uh, you know, we're going to work at a snail pace here. And I was like, no, like this is like you you have a second shot here. This is a clean slate. You got 100,000 players online. Like we're seeing the numbers dip now. Like we're down to 60,000 players, we're down to 40,000 players. And I think it got even as bad as like only 17,000 players online. It was like really bad. And they were just kind of deer in the headlights. And uh, so I got into a call with people I shouldn't have. It was actually... Um, people who uh, were kind of sketching the community at the time. And um, I didn't know I was being recorded. So I was kind of just ranting and stuff. And uh, you know, you're being recorded right now, right? I, I do know I'm being recorded <laughs> now. Yeah. Now I do. But uh, at the time, I kind of just went a little bit crazy and uh, vented a little bit to people I thought I trusted. And uh, unfortunately, they recorded it and kind of spun it a little bit. They took a few clips out of context and made it look really bad. And uh Ultimately, optically, Jagex didn't like, they're like, I don't know what to do now. And uh, basically split the community and their thoughts of me as a person. And uh, ultimately, like, the pressure got to me. And uh, Jagex ultimately fired me. They're like, ah, we're done with you. Uh, we can't deal with this. I can't have somebody working for us that's going to be trashing our employees behind the scenes. 
but this was all before I even got hired. Like I was trashing them beforehand. But anyway, long story short, I got I uh, I got fired. I got exposed for trashing Jagex, and I also trashed like the ragging community in the PKing community. Like they didn't have a PJ timer, so there was lots of ragging, lots of PJing, and like you could you would get a kill and then you get ragged, and like it was a whole big mess, and like people would DDoS you, and like. These are back in the Skype days, like before Discord, before, I mean, people can still DDoS you now, uh, but it's like, I ranted about that whole section of the, the old school community, the RuneScape community, and I also ranted yeah. about Jagex, and so nobody liked it, I guess. And some people were like, oh yeah, yeah this is the truth, like he's speaking the truth, this is this is it. And others were like, no, like you don't know what you're talking about, how dare you. How could this person be representative of the community if he doesn't like us? So then Jagex let me go. But uh, ultimately, um, Jimmy, getting back to your question, like I, um, I entered a pretty depressive state after. Like it was, it was pretty dark. Like uh, I, I felt like I peaked. I felt like I, I had all the potential kind of stripped from me, and uh, it kind of didn't sit well. And uh, you know. I, it kind of it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like over the years, it kind of got worse and worse and worse. But then, um, you know, once old school went mobile, uh, and they started actually producing some good good content, and they actually like really invested into the team. Like they have forty, I think forty two people on the old school team now, which is pretty crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of started paying attention to the game again. And, you know, I've always been lurking. I've always been here. It's just, I haven't really mustered up the strength to really produce content again, build up the courage to stream and, um, and produce videos. Um, cause I lost the passion. Uh, but yeah, I'm slowly gaining it back. Honestly, it's been, it's been fun playing, uh, after work and, and, and after, like as soon as the, the virus hit, like, uh, and all my in real life hobbies were gone. I couldn't bowl anymore. I couldn't hike really because of social distancing. And like New York was the epicenter. I kind of said, all right, I'm going to come back. But Jimmy, like I, I was thinking about deleting the channel, deleting my videos and, you know, kind of just putting the chapter to bed and keeping the story and being like, you know what? I know what I did or I know, I know what I produced. And, uh, and that was it. But yeah, I, I kind of stopped myself. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't delete your videos, dude. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Don't delete. Like, unless, nah, nah. I mean, copyright algorithm, that bullshit. Yeah, some yeah. of that stuff I got to, I had to delete a few of my really good PKing videos. That was, that took a dagger to the heart. Like, I had to yeah. delete a couple of my good um, uh, VODs and stuff. Or, like, they got muted, and then I had a copyright strike on one of them. But, no, nah, I'm yeah, not going to delete anything. I'm, everyone's uh, got their old chapters. Yep. The old chapters yep. are, are great to keep up. I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm st I'm sticking with tradition of talking about Kevin on every podcast, but that yeah. dude has all of his videos still up, dude. Oh and, yeah, oh, and yeah. that fucker is like started YouTube <laughs> by br uh, breaking one of the rules of the game. Now, I mean nowadays it is. It was yeah. before luring was technically a rule. Oh, luring, he was, was doing it. Luring was legit back in the day. Like, yeah, dude. It used to be before the wilderness ditch. Luring was you trade somebody. You you literally put like a party hat in the wilderness. Like put party hats that like had real value, the discontinued items. Yeah. Or you put like a high valued item and you trade somebody, you let it appear, uh, and lure them into the wilderness, or they would go run into the wilderness and try to pick it up, and then a whole team would. Did the JoJo three thousand lure? Dude. JoJo three thousand. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, that, that's, It's classic. <laughs> now, we all, we all got our stories. I mean, like, I, I'm not afraid to admit this. My I I got my first thousand YouTube subs by. Uh, lurking on spark max videos and uh chris archie's videos like 10 years ago nine years ago and uh copying all the high like active commenters and creating a giant youtube private message and just attaching a video being like hey check out my pkang video yeah but like literally it worked out because back in the day like and so many people were like dude fuck off like why are you sending me this like <laughs> dude you're such a snake but yeah so, yeah, you had to do what you had to do, but now it's, oh, yeah. it's a different game now, right? It's so weird to me hearing about this because I missed all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I played from classic back in 2001 all the way through 
the day they got rid of free trade. Okay. Oh, wow. And then okay. I, qu I quit that day. I mean, I played RuneScape every single day. Uh, all I did, though, <laughs> was scam people. <laughs> Not no joke. I just ripped people off. I, I did merching and I would just scam people all the time. My favorite yeah. one that we used to do is there was this they had just released Fremnic content and we were doing I think it's Fremnic trials where you go into this like house and you go upstairs and you have to clean this red goop off of a tuna <laughs> and then you get the red goop in your uh, inventory but if you leave the building it deletes the red goop so we would run to the slayer cave which was new it had just come out and we would get poisoned by like a rock slug or whatever the hell poisons you and then we would run in there and we would clean a bunch of these tuna get the red goop die and respawn in lumberage we would die to poison then respawn in lumberage with the red goop and then it was still a tradable item because jagex yeah this was so long ago <laughs> <laughs> that they were like, that's fine. <laughs> and then we oh, uh, we God. would say that it was worth like... Oh, yeah. Like tens of thousands or a hundred thousand, which back then was a crazy amount of money. Yeah. And I probably sold 20 or 30 of these red goops. Oh, yeah. It's a completely useless item telling people that it was how you... Cr I would be like, yeah, you use it on a rune weapon, makes a dragon weapon. And they'd be oh, like, yeah. oh, that's super cool. I have a rune weapon. I'd be like... I'll say yeah. red goop. God, you're an asshole. Um, there was so then, many crazy scams. Then the whole, it seems like the whole history of the game started. Everything <laughs> I knew was like pre all of this drama, all the, there weren't RuneScape YouTubers back no, then. No, no. I don't even think there was YouTube back then. Like, I don't know if there was, it wasn't really. No, I think, what was it? Oh gosh. It was like, it was like a VOD site. Like you could just like record with Hypercam 2. And then yeah, you, up a vod somewhere but it was pre-youtube like youtube is 2005 2006 yeah so and, then, it, but, and yeah. it didn't catch on for years no no like so, you, runescape youtubers i think started up like i think spark mac was 2008 and chris okay. archie was 2009 i think yeah it's I so think, funny but, hearing the community talk about them yeah. and i just like i was gone for three years by the time chris archie showed up as a youtuber and people talk about that, about that like it was the beginning of the radio. No, <laughs> there was, no, there was no, no, dude. The beginning of the radio is of this game is like before a lot of people were even born that are playing the game right now. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So it's like uh, it's crazy. Like I, I get so many messages of people that are like, "Dude, I grew up with your content," and I'm like, "Holy shit, am I that old? I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm pushing yeah. thirty, man. I'm gonna be thirty this year. I don't. Maybe I don't look thirty. I, I hope not. But I'm pushing dude. thirty this year. So it's uh." But it's crazy. Like, um, I feel like it's weird. Like, the 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 old cultish, like community of of old school RuneScape. Like, they see RuneScape as two thousand like two thousand and four, two thousand three, two thousand like when they came out with the RuneScape two, yeah, to two thousand and seven, mm -hmm. and then when they brought back old school in twenty thirteen. Like, you had that element of pre EOC, which is like we brought back free trade. We're bringing back free trade in twenty eleven. I think that's when they brought it back 20, 2011 they brought back free trade that's when i started my youtube channel and okay. uh uh you know I, I basically made videos from 2011 till 2013 so i only really produced videos for two years okay yeah wow god it's so it's just so weird hearing about all this old everything's real so fucking much, weird to you today well, there's just so much stuff that i missed <laughs> yeah i have these swaths of time that just sh so much shit happened that i'm just out yeah. of the loop on the game changed and came back so much oh yeah and but i, do I you think guys... it's gonna be here for a long time i think it'll be here probably like 30 40 years as long as they got the servers up we'll be playing this game in our 50s and 60s i think you think yeah why not damn that's, that's a hot server. take sure be like, hey, little kids, uh, grandkids, come here. I'll show you my old P YouTube videos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, grandpa, dude, you, you don't have YouTube videos anymore. There's there's only virtual reality. God, <laughs> I fucking hope YouTube's gone 40 years with a better <laughs> dude, I, I can't, platform. Like, dude, dude, I feel like when we're like in our 90s, it's just going to be like virtual reality nursing homes. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's oh, that could be, be dope, dude. It's going to be like, 
literally VR headsets and shit. Like no yeah. one's gonna be engaging. Be like, give me my food, and then yeah. gonna be it. I bet shoot you me up, baby. <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> And just That's keep it. playing your game. Just play old school. And then if they come out with like OSRS remastered and that client, they allow the whole first person, like think about like first person old school with the VR headset at age 90. God. Then you'd be like fucking nuts. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? Like with the whole, the old school, yeah. like allowing people to play at a first person, like the, like, I don't know if you've heard of OSRS remastered that whole yeah. client that someone's building. You I mean like I I don't think it works in any capacity with the game as it is. Look, what they could do like I think there's a fun lesson to be learned with the way that Skyrim released their VR. Okay. It absolutely broke the, any semblance of a combat system you can take your sword <laughs> and just go <laughs> and it just goes like and then the thing's dead. But sometimes, yep. like, that's what you want. Right. If they right. released a VR server or something and we're just like, have at it. The game's broken as shit. Play your little VR RuneScape. I would play the shit out of that. Yeah. I don't think there's any way. <laughs> You've got a VR attack things in ticks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, have a constant tick going on in your head. <laughs> because I, I, what really breaks VR games is all the walls you hit that remove... Um, the ramifications of your movement. So say I could only hit you once every three ticks. So that's two every two seconds. I think that's the math. Yeah. Then I could be swinging like this and it would be hit. Hit. <laughs> and I'm all and all, all of a sudden I'm like, what am I doing? Like I don't <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like I'm in the game. Right. Um right. and some of the best VR experiences that I've had or talking to people that they've had are when you're playing the games where it's kind of uh, stupid broken, but you can just swing your sword around and oh, hit shit. <laughs> and, and like, so I think there's a world in which if you just said, okay, players, you want 99 mining, get out there and fucking kill it. <laughs> and, and like, you know, you could have a fun experience in RuneScape and it could be cr like, uh, but don't try and be runes like, don't yeah. try and be whatever it is now sitting at your computer clicking. It would be a completely yeah. different game. No, like if you want to do like a like a clause to AGS or like a, an AGS to Gmall or uh, Elder Mall to Gmall spec, like you actually got to do the Elder what Mall if, to Gmall spec. Holy shit. Dude, then, if you then, had to fucking... <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you take like Elon's new invention where like they're thinking about doing like a brain... I the Neuralink? The Neuralink. Yeah. Like... Imagine if you link a neural link and you're able to like time your ticks and like you're just thinking about the ticks. Like you, you just tick and like you eat and you tick, you eat. <laughs> okay. Tick, that would be, that would be, that would like be fucking seizure mode. It'd be really crazy. Dude, you'd be man. sitting, you'd <laughs> unplug <laughs> from that and you'd be sitting in real life just trying to move in ticks. God, that'd, that'd be, be terrible. So but like, oh, oh, that would be sick. It'd if be you like had an episode to... of Black Mirror. That'd be, that'd be so yeah, bad. Yeah, literally. <laughs> if, if you had to come in and go like this to fucking declaw someone and then sheath them, grab the Gmall and smack somebody, <laughs> holy shit, that would be amazing. Just, uh, yeah. Dude, no, it'd be cool uh, if, dude, if we had like the uh, Half-Life Alex mechanics. Like if you were going to go in and do like a, a double Gmall into an AGS like whack, you go up to the person, you fucking toss the AGS up in the air, you maul, <laughs> and then you shit. catch the AGS. Dude, yeah. dude, okay. oh, man. that'd be okay. fucking that'd sick. Be nuts. Yeah, okay, uh, quick VR story. <laughs> I hard agree, and here's the reason. It's one of the coolest gaming moments I've ever had in my life. I was in LA, I was visiting a buddy. at. Uh, he was working for this branch of Blizzard, so we went and like played some game there. I don't even know if they ever released it. I think it was just... At Blizzard, they have enough money. They're like, let's create a game just to learn about what it's like creating VR games. That's what they were doing. It was a castle defense, and you were in your little castle. And your castle was on an island, and you had four turrets. And then pe boats would land uh, all around you. And then troops would come off, and then come attack your castle. And so what you did was you would grab, the in the four different corners, there were soldiers with swords. There were archers. There were bombs and there were potions. And so you would grab over here and throw a swordsman out on the battle, grab over here, 
throw an arch. You'd be battle. tossing the fit the dudes. You, yeah, and then you could grab bombs to blow up the enemy or potions to heal your units. And you would just grab them and throw, grab them and throw, grab them and throw. And one time I just grabbed a bomb and threw it behind my back and it worked. And I hit <laughs> where I was aiming. And I wasn't looking over there. I just was like, Archer here, bomb behind me. And then I turned and the troops were exploded. Oh, and it was the most like, <laughs> I've never felt so in a world before. And so I started grabbing st stuff and throwing it between my legs and doing like <laughs> cool physical moves to, to make shit happen in the game. Were your legs in VR too? No, 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 no. But like I could be physically expressive <laughs> oh. while playing the game. Nobody fucking yeah. cares what you're doing with your mouse over here when, you know, when you're clicking. No. And then there's like, you can't be physically expressive sitting here clicking your mouse or whatever. But the fact that I could like, like imagine if you're watching a Call of Duty uh, pro tournament or yeah, maybe CSGO, Jimmy. You're watching CSGO and one dude, they got their gun, they're peeking a corner and the other guy fucking just eyes closed, just goes and shoots them. You'd be like, he didn't even have to close his eyes, <laughs> but he did it and he got the kill. It would be like 10 times cooler. Yeah. Ha having that physical expression in VR I think that is the one thing they absolutely need to. That's yeah. what VR is for. It's yeah. not for like trying to build a, other systems that worked in games on a computer. And you, yeah. it, all it is is the tactile response. It yeah, was it was that. so much fun. Fucking give me the D claws so I could throw my AGS in the air and catch it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, but the, good, be, the good news with the, all that though, if they made something like that in the future it wouldn't mess up the combat system. Like it would be still the same old school combat system that we're all used to. Right. Cause like we wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to click like an action bar or anything like that. You could just throw it up and do the spec and absolutely it's still the I, same, same combat system, but I you're think, throwing it with a twist. That's all. God, sign me up. for RuneScape <laughs> VR. <laughs> RuneScape VR. I, would, I would be so fucking pumped it. for that stuff, man. Uh, did you guys, did you guys ever play when when did Dungeoneering happen? Was that a RuneScape 3 thing or did that happen still? It happened in before. The... It was like 2011, 2010. 2011. So 20, pre EOC Dungeoneering came out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this, like some of the weapons now are kind of paralleled a little bit, like with the Chaotic Rapier and the Grazi Rapier. Like yeah. they're pretty, pretty similar. The, the Elder Maul is kind of like a little bit of a knockoff of the Chaotic Maul. Like the okay. Chaotic Maul was really overpowered. Like you could literally just. Like, it was a prod weapon. You literally just keep doing this over and over again. Never had to switch. And eventually, like, people just eat themselves to death. Like, you just keep hitting the equivalent of, like, a 60. You'd be like, 60, 60, 60. Jesus you Christ. just freaking die, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, they had the VLS, but that wasn't related to Dungeoneering. But Dungeoneering is kind of, like, similar to the... I think it's similar to what is now the Corrupted Gauntlet, the Gauntlet. It's so, like, I, I've heard it's kind of like mini raids or a mini, Gauntlet mini raids like if you take a raid in the gauntlet and you put it together it's kind of like that because you because you go in with no gear and build right. up throughout the okay right yeah. right and it was like rooms and you had to like unlock certain things i don't remember exactly the skill like i i literally cool. have to go back in the rolodex but dungeon also is a pretty cool skill <laughs> guys this fo I, I like this fossil island update for runescape 3 it's actually fucking dope you oh, like yeah. build a town that it's like a game with it feels like a mobile game inside of a game where you're like you you build a town in these ancient ruins as so you like build a town center and then you have 10 workers that you distribute between different resources and they produce it over time and then you use those resources to build different buildings and as you grow your city then you start getting like passive bonuses to your runescape account fucking dope mm. i'd be so about that shit in old school as long as it didn't introduce you know a whole bunch of fucky wucky mechanics <laughs> yeah and yeah but like the the so i'm I'm actually su and i've been so happy with the late latest two quests that they've done sins of the father and song of the elves yeah dope i I'm think so those are pretty cool, happy with know? how they turned out i still haven't i'm working on the requirements for song of the elves like i yeah, literally got i gotta bangers. do i gotta do morning in part one and then i gotta do morning in part two I, I that's what i'm up to i got all the skills i think cool i gotta get the base 70s but sins Did of the father i didn't do 
Did you start a new account recently when you started playing the game again? No, I, I actually took my account and then kind of I maxed out the melee, the, the Sorect account. Uh, no iron, just a regular account, no Iron Man. Mm -hmm. and, so uh, you've had this account since they re-released Old School. I've had, well, I've had the account since 2005. But, okay, but then... But this account, this account has, uh, like, it's the OG, like the day of Old School release. That's when I made, like, I made the Old School version of the character. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've been playing the same account for seven years, I guess. Or on and I off actually, for seven years. I just recovered my first RuneScape account from Classic, like okay. a month and a half ago. I just yeah. randomly gave okay. it a shot, gave it another shot through the uh, account recovery system, and this time it worked, and they gave me my account back. Dude, you recovered <laughs> it from that long ago. You didn't have a party hat or a Santa hat or anything. Dude, no Santa. Well, okay, I had. God. I think it the account got hacked, but they didn't. Oh, so I don't even remember. I think I probably had some shit like that. Did you? But I. Oh, hopefully it wasn't you there like it. I don't yeah. remember. It's it had literally been 2006. I was just like, peace out. It was fucking dope. I had a red party hat at one point in time that I wore literally everywhere. That Dude. I could not have bought with the rest of my items times 100. The uh, the original uh, classic that was in the game. There are some people that quite literally got fucked over as hard uh, as people who, like, sold Bitcoin before it blew up uh, times a billion. Because you were actually able, uh, in for a brief time period, able to transfer uh, your rare items, like the, like the party hat, Santa hat, all that, uh, from Classic to your RuneScape 2 account. They gave you the options. All the news posts are still there to, like, show that this was how they were doing it during the transition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. And there were people who didn't do that. And then they, you know, either kept playing or they, you know, fucking just had their classic account. One, classic is done, can never access those accounts again. Nope, and two, yeah. can you imagine not transferring over those items and like remembering that like, what, 20 years later? And then be looking back and seeing that like all those items are worth so much fucking money. Like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, it's funny. I was talking to somebody in my Twitch chat uh, the other night, and he said that the, the richest person on RuneScape 3 is worth the equivalent of 631 trillion GP in the game. See, that doesn't even make sense. I don't me. even know how that's possible. In, in old school GP? No, in RuneScape 3 GP. 631 <clears throat> okay. trill, apparently. G what and the he, fuck? And he's ranked... And he told me... he's He showed me his bank. He's ranked one hundred, rank 50 or rank 100 in his bank. And his bank was like 18 trill. And he's like, yeah, I just ha I held on to my rares for Dude, forever. <laughs> it's like... Fuck. <laughs> okay. But uh, no, I, I... I actually... Uh, like they the, the couple of weeks before they shut down the the classic servers like they said like oh we're we're discontinuing the classic servers you can't log back into them even though like they were they were around for a while like they allowed you to log back in kind of for the nostalgia feel mm -hmm. and uh i did some pking on that i i had another another account that was like my original account from 2004 so i played that one on there but um then they discontinued it, but it was cool. It was nice to log in and, and play and PK a little bit on Classic. I remember being the leader of a ranging guild, and I, uh, it was the biggest ranging guild in Classic, and there were like 15 of us. <laughs> Not a big deal, and dude. I, <laughs> and I had the highest range level. It was 37. <laughs> yeah, we used to meet at the Jolly Boar Inn. Everything or almost everything was multi-combat, and you always had to compete for damage. Yeah. Um... And so everyone would just attack something, and then whoever did the most damage got all the XP. I don't remember exactly the rules, but it was a competitive environment for XP when killing monsters. And I remember since I had the highest range level, I just killed all the monsters. <laughs> and so no one, like, I just would keep getting all the XP, and everyone else was like, God, what? I didn't get another kill? I was just, the game was such a different yeah experience dude speaking of different experiences matt you had mentioned uh yeah. about i don't know how much you're allowed to talk about this but okay regardless 
we can still talk about the general idea of it. But you had mentioned uh, as if it was like this really low key, crazy thing that Jagex had like paid you to kind of advertise something. Yeah. Now, okay, what what the fuck happened there? And because nowadays, yeah. <laughs> who gives a fuck who pays someone? Right, like it, right. sponsors, yeah, so or whatever. Back in the back in the day, uh. Well, first of all, like Jagex wasn't really in tune with the YouTube community. They, they didn't really see legitimacy to content mm. creators and promoting their game. It was kind of like, oh, we got to deal with these people. They're promoting <laughs> our game and they got like, they're getting a lot of views on their video. So uh, we have to kind of, let's try to create a community and, and promote stuff, you know, like, let's see what we can do. Yeah. Um, and at the time, like, because... They had put so much investment in the evolution of combat and changing the combat system. They felt like they needed to artificially promote it. So they reached out to me. This was like three months before I started the old school petition. They reached out to me and said, hey, can you help promote the EOC? So I basically said, what do you mean? And uh, they're like, oh, well, could you help get a bunch of YouTube creators and we'll promote the EOC? Now, I'm not going to say who promoted the EOC and out of respect for them. Um, but ultimately, they offered everybody a thousand dollars to promote a like created video uh, to promote the EOC. So we basically all had to create EOC videos at the same time to promote it. And uh that was a massive flop, <laughs> but we did it. And uh, yeah, like, so in a way I was promoting the EOC before I was promoting old school. It was kind of like I did a 180 and and basically kind of riled everybody up the opposite way. It was kind of yeah. interesting. But uh, the other thing about being compensated is like uh, I did get paid a little bit for old school. Like it's kind of like a, a bombshell, I guess, a little bit. I I did get paid for the con like basically after the success of old school, they wanted to compensate me for old school, and I was like, I guess so, sure. And basically, they said, oh, we're gonna give you uh, ten cents for every vote that we got. So basically, on the old school poll, they they paid me ten cents for every every vote so yeah that's pretty dope yeah but cool. uh the other um thing i wanted to mention is that after the whole craziness went down i actually uh last year went to visit uh england i met uh finally met mark gerhard after all those years the guy who helped bring back old school from the ceo perspective and uh ultimately fired me so we shared a beer and had some old laughs and uh it was so funny because one of the J mods that I had trashed in the exposed video was literally sitting there at like, it's like Mark's, Mark's got his own company now. And it's like, it's so cool inside. And like, like they're producing their own game and, uh, it's, it's pretty neat. And, uh, how long ago did you leave? Leave what? Re uh, Jagex. So I, I got fired. So I, I got no, fired. No, no, how long ago did he leave? Oh, he, I think he left, um, I think it was maybe three, two, three years ago. I don't know. I'm okay. not, I'm not 100% Okay, that's sure. pretty yeah. recent. Re relatively recent. So he, he was the, the CEO of, of Jagex at the time, right? Okay. When, when old school was being released. Um, but he's got a cool company. Um, he ended up, uh, in, like I was on my way to Jagex actually to meet them. I was, I wanted to see like a tour of the, the studio, see what, what's up in there. And, yeah. um, on the way there, uh, Mark has his company it's right across the street. And, uh, he actually took a lot of developers from, from Jagex and started his own company essentially. And, um, it was pretty cool. Like he, we, I walked in and went up the elevator and I'm, I'm in a suit. Cause I had a, like, I was with, with my company, like, uh, at the time. And, uh, he's like, Oh, would you like a beer? And I'm like, I was like taking it back. Like, Oh sure. I'll take a beer. He's like, all right, I got Peroni. Is that okay? And I was like, all right, yeah, sure. I'll have a Peroni. 
and uh, uh, Ma Jane was sitting at the bar <laughs> in his company. No joke. Uh, she was the community manager at the time when, uh, okay. uh, like, one of the J mods that I was kind of trashing, <laughs> honestly. Like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But um, she, I was like, oh, hey, I'm Matt. And Mark's like, oh, she knows who you are. And I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, I, I know who. <laughs> she's like, and she like smirked at me. She like rolled her eyes a little bit. And I was like, it's okay. She's like, all right, yeah, bygones be bygones, essentially. Um, but it was cool. Like he showed me his whole company, and uh, I sat and hung out with Mark for like an hour and a half. We took a picture and said goodbye, and uh, then I walked over to Jagex, and like it's like a tale of two stories, right? I go to Jagex. I walk in, Chris Archie is there. I was in and out of Jagex in 10 minutes flat. Literally, he like carts me around. He's like, oh, this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. You want to see anything else? I was like, uh, okay. And then 10 minutes later, I was out. So I was like, all right, whatever. But dude, it was Chris fun. is down to business, dude. He's down he, to business. He gets like, down I, to business. I, he's like, this is the development team. This is the QA team. They're celebrating the BAFTA award in here for old school. I was like, oh, can we go in there? No, no, you can't go in there. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> no, dude. All right, whatever. And then like that kind of like is demoralizing a little bit. It's like, oh, okay, I can't celebrate. All right, whatever. And then I literally was like walking around and I was like, oh, can I meet these people? Can I meet your security team? Can I? Because I wanted to talk to them about cybersecurity a little bit and why like they felt like I feel like they needed to invest in more security in their company and like they didn't want to hear any of it so i was in and out in 10 minutes but it was cool Hmm. to to meet um jagex uh staff members for a little bit and uh but honestly i really enjoyed the experience meeting mark gerhardt it kind of like brought everything full circle like uh the ceo who finally realized they made a mistake with the eoc brought back old school you know it was kind of like a whole story it was was neat it was nice how recent was that that was last year actually okay, cool. uh, yeah so like last year I, it's actually on twitter a picture of me and uh and mark it's pretty pretty cool to to have that yeah that's dope yeah hell yeah dude that, uh, they're in cambridge right they're yeah they're in cambridge yeah so i took a train yeah. from i think it was in london not 100 percent sure but ha- have you ever yeah. been to a rune uh, a rune fest no no i was it was funny i was supposed to go in 2013 like my Jane was like, oh, we're, we're getting your ticket together. You're going to come to, to RuneFest. And we're going to, yeah. you know, and then like everything went down and then I never went to RuneFest. So I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I w- is what it is. did you go? How I was went it? For the first time last year. Okay. It, it was your first one too, Jimmy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. I want a cool. gold. Well, you, won, you won the gold. big deal. Gnome, Jimmy. That was pretty cool. Not a big deal. No, dude. That was pretty nice. That, it was, a, yeah, that was such a fun experience, dude. I, I'm so devastated that like with all of the shit that we can't do right now, I'm just so upset about RuneFest not happening more than anything else because of how fun it was. That was my favorite thing I've like, like top three things probably I've ever done in my life. Just that whole trip in general. It was so fun. <laughs> all yeah, the people, it was dude. Pretty great. Holy shit. And I get to be kind of like famous for a day, which was really cool. Cause like no one fucking knows me in the world. But when I go there, people were like, Jimmy! And I'm like, the fuck? What? <laughs> like I got <laughs> thrown off and I was like, oh, this is like RuneScape world right now. Like I'm walking around in RuneScape. Yeah. yeah. It's such a surreal experience, dude. Uh, and and just meeting everybody was fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. I kind of got yeah. a little bit of that when I went to TwitchCon. I was mm-hmm. uh, hanging out with um, Bodie and uh, Bonesaw and uh, a few other people. I think Ice Poseidon was there. I don't know if you're familiar with him. He's a streamer, oh, yeah. but yeah, he's pretty but, uh, old school. He he started in the old school RuneScape community way back when. I think it was like 2014. But uh, he was a very controversial streamer. <laughs> sure <laughs> but, was. I didn't I didn't uh, know any of his... Uh, I didn't know him from any RuneScape stuff because he wasn't playing the game at the time. But yeah, like, what, did he, then, what uh, did he used to do? Like IRL streams? Yeah. He did a lot he of like, IRL walk streams. Walk around and mess walk with around. people. Yep, yeah. Yep. And then uh, Raj Patel. You guys know who Raj Patel is? I, yeah, I met Raj him this last. Austin. He yeah. was at Runefest, so yep. I, I I didn't know who he was yep. until I met him. But and I, I he still does like I think he does he has a talk show. He's yeah, got a talk show, yeah. Wrong. Austin, yep, the Austin, I would know the Raj show or something. But 
Yeah, it's he cool. rebranded to Austin recently. Austin on he, Twitter, he dropped yeah. the Raj, yeah. which is crazy. He dropped the Raj, yeah. Yeah. I Wait, remember the so- I, I remember the time so I had uh, well, I had Austin on my stream to do this epic F two P is his name Austin? His yeah. name's Austin, yeah. Okay. So I had him to I had him on my stream to promote like bring back F two P. We need free to play that's gonna help bring more players to the game. You know, like so he does did this epic F two P speech and and his ladies and gentlemen, boys yeah. and like, yeah, like all that. But so like it was it was pretty cool. And um then after the stream, I didn't know that he was an Indian. So then I I had him on on Skype and he's like, Oh, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I was like and like he op- he starts the call and he's like he starts, he's talking, he's talking, and all of a sudden he's like, Oh, by the way, I'm Austin. <laughs> I, like it was like I like literally got floored. <laughs> like my jaw dropped and I was like, Oh shit. No way. But um yeah. Now he's he's crazy now. He's doing some crazy things and uh, Yeah, he's and, huge, like, man. Community. Yeah. It's cool yeah. stuff. But no, I like um it's cool to be around um like like the community in real life a little bit. I met a few people at TwitchCon that were like, Oh hey, I think you streamed once back in the day. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it was cool. It was nice. So you're back you're back to streaming. I I saw I, you were live and I yeah, tuned in for yeah. a second so yeah, I'm 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 hopping I'm I'm streaming again. Um, I've been How you streaming. It? I like it a lot actually. Like it, it's it's relaxing. Like after work, just kind of like hopping on and just chilling out with the chat kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, you know, I've been streaming. I don't know what I'm gonna do streaming. Like I I think I'm gonna I think on Sunday I'm gonna go PKing for the first time in seven years. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Probably gonna die like a hundred times, but oh, yeah. it'll be fun. It's good. It's a, it's a lot of fun to just uh, hang out, stream, and have a good time. I hope you don't. I'm such have to, uh, start a new rant about ragging dudes because <laughs> that is a huge problem. I don't know if it's been addressed yeah. entirely, but yeah, yeah. Live streaming PKing sucks. I know. I know. I, well, I I'm see what I'm going to do is probably die at least a hundred times. Oh my yeah. My goal my goal is to like lose less than fifty mil, and maybe get one kill. That's, that's my goal. That's my dude, goal. that is the perfect attitude to have. Yeah. I, yeah. I had a bit of a rant about it on, when was that? Well, I was streaming two days ago, I think. And it was like, if you just put aside a chunk of cash and say it's already gone. Yeah. Doesn't matter. The deaths yeah. don't hurt me. No. They're not trying to be mean to me. They're just <laughs> trying to play the game. They just want I'm my not GP. Gonna, that's it. Like, I, like, I'm not trying to, when someone kills me in League yeah. of Legends... I don't go, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, this is a game about fighting and killing other people. <laughs> and so exactly. I, like, I, I had this rant about it. I was like, I think that's the perfect attitude. I'm just going to spend this money learning to PK. Exactly. And if I get one kill, hell yeah, we did it. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll, I guess I have no choice but to lock myself in a cage like Randy and go into LMS, right? <laughs> yeah. what, kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of PKing are you going to be doing, do you know? So I think I'm going to try to do... I'll try to do a few Darak PKing uh, okay. kills. I'm gonna try to like do a few Venge combos and uh, get a few kills there. But cool. if not, if that doesn't work out, then I had somebody who said that he had a, an account I could borrow and I might do some pure PKing and, and see how that goes. But I also Dude, have fight access me. to a Void tank, so I'll. Okay, I don't just, fight me on the Void tank. No, no, <laughs> I don't want to fight that. Do you, I've got a I've got yeah. a pure and yeah. Void tank shit on me oh, yeah. so hard. Is it like yeah. a high level? Void pure, no. Void so it's actually this one's like a low level one. So I gotta get. I actually gotta put some work into it. I gotta get monkey okay. man this two done and chin up to ninety nine range. But L- low level void pure is probably like seventy combat, right? I Maybe think so. seventy five. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Something yeah, like that. you right definitely now it's 40, wanna... 42 def, uh, eighty range. So it's got a little bit of work. Yeah, to do. you'd yeah. shit all over my build. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually my late. I so I released a white wolf episode yesterday. I'm doing this thing where I get a PK at every combat level. Yeah. And so I'm at level 75 now. I'm still a one defense peer. And uh, I fought a void uh, tank and it was not close. <laughs> it was <laughs> never close. Yeah. So I, I was probably going to do like a crossbow to dark bow until I could get a heavy ballista. But I heard, didn't yeah. they nerf the ballista recently? Or I don't, I don't know if they nerfed it or not, but. 
It's still good. It's still, is it still good? <laughs> yeah. you know, from experience, it's still yeah. good. It's still good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I think it'll be fun. I think, I think like, pures, like, it's just more fast-paced, so you're going to die, like, in three seconds. Like, yeah. Like, you could, like, I watch all these guys that are on, like, uh, Twitch, and, like, they're doing um, Arak DMs. They're, like, they're just, like, fucking, like, this with their fucking mouse. And Dude, food it's and shit by fucking it's seizure. It's, like, insane. holy fuck. How do you, like, drag your food like that? How do you, like, <laughs> how do you click like that, man? I'm yeah. so, and I'm, the F I'm, keys are, like, this and, like, 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 like holy yeah. shit. Like, and then, like, there's some insane peak errors. Like, I, I, like, that's one area of the game that i um like i'm pretty happy that they actually realize that there's actually some esport type of potential to pvp in old school mm-hmm. like the the whole dead man mode and the 1v1 tournament like like there's some legitimacy to that and like with um with soup's new series with the whole like 5v5 that you guys dude, did I, last weekend that was pretty cool don't fucking yeah, bring that, that up dude i thought that was good dude you did better than i would have done i would have probably died in like 12 seconds like i want to put it on record right now because i've gotten okay first and foremost there's there's two things that i need to say about this because i've dude i've never gotten bombarded bombarded more about something that's not like my thing in my life until this thing came out uh this past weekend one that shit was filmed in November. Soup has said it <laughs> so many times. So I have so many people coming up to me being like, oh man, I bet you are going to be real fucking lonely next week now that you're not on the games. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to be. That was fucking 2019 filming. Uh, dude, wow. It was. it's so weird having things said to me about something that happened so long ago. I'm That's like, funny. Jesus, I, I would have done something way different now. Like, what the hell? Uh, two? I'm the sole reason that NA got one win in that <laughs> 5v5 because I was fucking with C Engineer so hard during that and he was trying to come for me. I was shit talking him. Dude, he yeah, came that for was me. The old, I, I, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a hero move, Jimmy, playing that yeah. playing that up. Because I, I knew I wasn't going to win. I'm it's glad him, you know? I'm glad C Engineer leaned into it too. That He was being a good sport. Yeah. Fucking, that's good. That was fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, the, Soup the, has produced the, such a damn good. Oh, he's doing a great The job, real dude. question is, Jimmy, how how many potato cacti does it take to protect the celestial sapling? That's the I don't give a question. fuck. That's the real. <laughs> that's the that's the real question. That's the nah, real dude, question. I was like, people were in the comments saying, you know, like, oh man, Zulu's question at the end was, you know, way easier than what Jimmy had. But I was kind of like. <laughs> Man, I probably would have gotten that one wrong too. So like, who yeah. cares? And two, Zulu probably for the sake of competitiveness should have stayed there rather than me. Cause I was literally just going on whenever we met up just to fuck around. Like that's all it was. There's a lot of funny things that happened uh, <laughs> that weren't put in, but like the whole raid, I have so many funny things that, I mean, I don't have the clips anymore, but of me and Kevin, the things that we were saying, dude, like we could have our own <laughs> videos like, just about that raid with all the funny shit that happened uh it was so fun it was a, it was a fun thing to film um but obviously you know he's taken the, the path of reality show and he's doing a really good job at like incorporating yeah. all the elements of like the I drama imagine, and everything you yeah, know i couldn't imagine trying to edit that much shit dude it's pick insane. a through line <laughs> and then the the hardest part would be cutting all the good stuff just yeah. because it is irrelevant to the yeah. what you're trying to tell with this 30 minutes soup you're doing a damn good job i don't i don't pity the the amount of effort that has to go into that kind of project yeah it's unreal dude he's doing i got i got the popcorn now ready for the next episode i literally i make a popcorn for this it's pretty sweet yeah good god any uh, the also bar, the bar is pretty high now like with with content like it's like oh yeah you really gotta like back when i was doing videos it was like pk commentaries like that was it like yep. I, would, I would literally just like go out there in the wilderness do some wacky voices impressions and uh and that was it i get a kill but be like boom and like get a kill and be done and boom it. we got a kill boom we got a kill <laughs> boom we got a kill we're done God, but not like dude the the content like well you know technology's gotten so much better now with like premiere and it's insane it's pretty cool like you could do so many cool cuts and transitions and 
a free cool. software yeah. that allows for 60 fps 1080p recordings at your disposal at any time yeah. you want yeah uh speaking of people who set the bar uh actually going against obs settled cannot fucking figure out obs to save his life uh not because he's incompetent but because his computer's fucked like something is wrong with this man's computer uh he uses camtasia still like huh uh so does kevin actually they both use camtasia I, there's nothing wrong with camtasia no uh, but there is though because it's capped at 30 fps too. yeah well yeah 30 fps really yeah, yeah they can't you can <laughs> export you can export in 60 but you can't film in 30. It makes zero sense, dude. Wait. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do with Wait, that? Wait, so dude? a framed video is 30p? It sure is, dude. Or 30 FPS? 30 FPS. Yeah. I'm going to go watch those with a keener eye next time. Yeah. And be like, what the fuck mm. framed? Yeah. What is I can't do? really what tell is... the difference, but. Yeah, I, I have not noticed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, RuneScape animation cycles are so slow anyways. Yeah. That yeah. is probably it's like. It, yeah. RuneScape is probably the game where it matters the least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The way I was explaining it is uh the it's so much more beneficial to record in 60 when you're playing RuneScape because you know, RuneScape caps at 50. So if you're recording in 60, you Wait, actually what? have every frame to work with. You have more frames than you need to work with because the game is not even recording that fast. But with 30, you actually lose frames. There could be ticks that you miss of like, you know, if you're a PK or especially of missing, you know, someone who could do the crazy six way one tick switch or whatever. Uh, if you wanted to show a, a recap of, you know, showing how fucking good you are at this game, you know, you couldn't do it uh, as smoothly uh, as someone recording in, in 60 rather than 30. Do you yeah. get every frame of 50 if you're mm-hmm. recording in 60? Because aren't they 60 equal slices? So it's not like you recorded 50 and then had 10 left over. Wouldn't there be some mismatch within cutting up 50 evenly distributed over 60? There, uh, dude, it's so hard to fucking fathom. <laughs> it's so complicated. Because I know, I, I know I'm exactly actually what you mean. asking. This isn't like a haha. I got I'm no, 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 no. I know I what have you mean. No idea. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to experiment. We'll have to, maybe mm. we'll, we'll, we'll do a, a Mythbusters on this. I'm sure everyone's FPS. super interested in yeah. the really. Yeah. Like ins and outs of the recording and yeah, and so- and, and people are gonna be up at of- night until we make this video, so we should spend like yeah. at least three weeks on it. <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Uh, Matt, are you gonna get into YouTube? Do you think again? I think so. I think I'll, I'll start producing more, more content, and uh, as I get back into the wilderness, uh, I think the old the old Matt's gonna come out with the, uh, the wacky voices and the impressions and things like that. So. Uh, I'm totally down to, you know, make content. Like I, I, I just got to come up with new ideas. That's all. Yeah. I gotta yeah. keep. I gotta study. I gotta sit down and and, uh, and come up with some cool ideas. But uh, I like I like producing videos. I also like streaming too. So I kind of want to get back to the the passion. You know. Do you use Premiere? Yeah. I've never used it before, but I, I use like use. So, I use like Sony Vegas mainly. How does it compare? Like at least like. Premiere is as someone who currently uses Sony Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Premiere, dude. Premiere, <laughs> Premier. yeah. Yeah. All right. I can't and, speak and, on verses. I've and never not used even it. just the workspace is better. The the software runs much better. Okay. And you will have much less problems and a smaller load on your system than cool. using Vegas. All right. Um nice. I've been saying I'm gonna make the switch for about three weeks now jimmy how long have you been here <laughs> so yeah. yeah somewhere around there i yeah. uh i will be using premiere soon <laughs> yeah some undetermined amount of time so well if you never need like a uh somebody to teach you, he's right down the road right i know yeah that was the idea i was like <laughs> yeah. hey jimmy's moving um yeah i see jimmy all the time now he will ne- he like fucking I-, I see him like three times a day <laughs> i can't keep him out of my apartment <laughs> But the real question is, do you socially distance? That's the real question. Absolutely not. No, no, no not once. No. Very, it's a very no. physical face, relationship. Face to face, yeah. Or we talk close. very little, actually. <laughs> oh, it's just standing close just, to each other. Yeah. Staring into yeah. each other's eyes, huh? Yeah, yeah. This is, we save it for the podcast. It's more of <laughs> yeah. a content nice. thing. We'll start saying something. I'll be like, shut up. You're losing content right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, save and I'll, it. And you know, put him back. Put his finger over my lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. 
Dude, yeah. Uh, regarding ideas for things, I don't have an idea for you, but I can <laughs> tell you ideas not to do. Uh, yeah. Because I see this all the time on, on Twitter uh, when people are like, I've noticed an, an influx of people advertising their own series now because uh, I get tagged in a lot of them. People are like mm -hmm. inspired by, you know, blank, 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 blank. <laughs> and like, it'll be me and like six other content creators hoping to God that we see it and like it so much that we retweet it or something, uh, mm -hmm. which is fine. You know, I'm not going to fucking retweet it. Uh, shoot your shot. You shoot know. your shot. That's <laughs> fine. You never know. Um, but I've seen so many things, whether you're starting uh, a Twitch, you want to become a streamer or you want to become uh, a YouTuber and start a series. The worst thing to do, in, in my opinion, of, of my own experience talking to people about this, is anything remotely self-deprecating. If you're saying average Iron Man, uh, you know, average <laughs> player, below average, gotcha, uh, pure gotcha. account, you know, whatever. Okay. It is the least appealing thing I think I've ever seen. Uh, and I used to do it. I used to label, <laughs> people used to know me as the shitty RuneScape player, the shitty, funny RuneScape player. But I had yeah. the funny, funny part. That's what saved yeah. me. As I yep. learned comedy, uh, and that saved me. But now I'm I I hate thinking to myself like, oh damn, I'm bad at the game. And I learned how to play the game uh, because I realized that that's a stupid shtick, yep. and no one should do that. <laughs> don't yep. don't uh, label yourself as shitty because people don't want to watch. Uh, no, but make sure you no. have a twist to it. You know, make yeah, sure you're, yeah. you know having fun. That's that's the most important part. That's the that's the, that's the main thing first. Like uh, I'm not really to trying to prove anything anymore. Right. You know, I'm kind of just like, like I'm enjoying playing old school again. That's the, that's like the main thing. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's kind of like a, like a, a release after work, you know, you just kind of hang out, you relax, chill with people who want to chill with you and you hang out and that's it. Um, but I have some things up my sleeve that I kind of want to try out and uh, I'm just going to go for it on stream and see what happens and I'll produce some videos and see what happens. But I'm, uh, I'm just having fun again. I'm, I'm, I'm back to cool. the passion of, of playing the game first. Like what happened back after old school was it became a job. It became really like, you're the face of old school. You're, you're in charge of, uh, keeping the community in check and like, uh, like taking the messages and, and being the moderator to Jagex and like, it didn't become fun at that point. So now it like getting back to the roots and back to just playing the game and having fun. Uh, that's why I started producing videos. That's why I started YouTube to begin with. Like it wasn't to make it a full-time thing, you know? So uh, I'm just here to have fun. That's it. Oh yeah. Cool. Dude. Good stuff. Well, I think that's a perfect place to like beat to end this yeah podcast on. is there anything we like, missed anything you, yeah you no, talk we about? Go. no i think i think we got it all i think we covered it all here right good stuff dude well i'm sure a yeah. lot of people are gonna be excited uh, i know you've already started streaming uh have you been on twitter much yeah i've been on okay twitter. yeah okay so yeah. yeah keep uh start start uh weaseling your way into the, the old school video making community again i'm sure everyone will welcome you with open arms i know i Hi. i told you that last time i forgot to mention that we i still have it on a hard drive somewhere we did yeah a bank we did. podcast we did. way long yeah. ago yeah we did uh, and we just didn't release it because we were still like iffy about talking about certain things but, yeah yeah uh we finally fucking did it here we, we are we did it we did it yeah um but yeah, yeah. I said it back then. I'll say it again, dude. People will welcome me back with open arms. No one's going to give a fuck about anything that happened seven <laughs> years ago. And if they do, they're, they got some things to worry about themselves, dude. <laughs> dude oh, no dude. one cares. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, that's exciting. We're happy yeah. to have you back. The, the, Thanks, the, man. the man who fucking started it, man. Hey, you were, uh, <laughs> thank you on behalf of all the people who are sadly addicted to this game that came back. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> or happily addicted or, ha or happily, happily addicted, addicted. yeah it's okay we just got to get the stakers out of debt that's all that's all that's, all. that's what i got <laughs> yeah. that's the next mission start a petition to get this now i'm just kidding but. hashtag rat pits new duel arena <laughs> saying <laughs> hashtag rat pits duel arena that's it that's um that's dope. Dope. serious all can right you actually fight your cats in the rat pits or something? yes <laughs> you can it fight exists yes 
oh, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your joke is not funny anymore. We're taking it seriously. <laughs> I mean, I we, we will have two cats fight. <laughs> Dude, no, it's a cool system, by the way. You could do it. Like, show, you could pick which attack style your cat is using and shit and, like, yeah. fight for a wager. It's actually really cool. No one just oh no one fucking does it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All they need is a mini game teleport there, and then I'm, I'm in. <laughs> they do. Do they have it? Rat oh my hog. god, you're right. They do. We Jesus got a job. Christ. I'm gonna check it out. I gotta check it Good out. Good god. Good. Okay. All right. Good, Good stuff. stuff. All right, uh, Matt. We don't really, uh, you know, do a closure. We just kind of uh, end it. End the video. Mm-hmm.